With you, let's uh, talk football now. And uh, good news for Hornets fans: Watford sealing an instant return to the Premier League. This following uh, a one-nil win over Millwall today. Let's get some immediate reaction from uh, Dean Russell, the MP uh, for Watford. Good evening to you. So, uh, tell me how how are you feeling tonight? I am absolutely overjoyed. I can't tell you. Um, it's been such a wonderful uh, result for the team, and I have to say, Watford Football Club have been so phenomenal. Uh, this past year. They've done so much for the local community, as they always do. But during COVID, they've opened up their uh, grounds to the staff. They've done, been a vaccination centre. They've done so much more than just football. And winning this today for Mills, for me, feels like just really good karma, that they, they've done the right thing. They've been brilliant on the pitch. And now today we can all celebrate uh, with this fantastic achievement. I suppose the karma has come. Millwall, I guess, came close uh, a number of times to delaying this promotion party. Are you going to be celebrating uh, in the town centre pond? Oh no, I'm going to I'm going to steer away from the town centre pond. Although I know it's a uh, very much a, 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 a classic thing for uh, for Watford Football Club and the fans. But I think you know, sadly, we're still under the COVID restrictions. We still need to be really mindful of of the risks that we take by getting too close to people and not wearing masks and all of those things. But you know, I think for, for the majority of fans who no doubt won't be going down there, I think you know it's a great evening to raise a pint in the garden uh, or, or from our, our front rooms. Uh, and celebrate for a club that's beyond uh, a football club that's just part of our Watford community and uh, I'll be raising a glass for them well I've raised one or two already but I'll be raising some more later this evening and, and then we have to say I guess uh, the words from Hartford Chick and Stabulary the police urging fans to follow the rules Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, we're, we're still in the middle of, uh, or hopefully near the end, but definitely still in a pandemic. We've got to make sure we keep each other safe. And, you know, a moment of celebration today could have uh, impact for many, uh, whether it be long COVID or, uh, you know, affecting our, our NHS staff and so on. So I think, you know, for all of the fans out there that might be thinking go down to celebrate, I urge them not to, uh, but to, you know, enjoy, enjoy a moment at home and, uh, you know, there'll be plenty of time to get back into the stadium as we come out of lockdown and you know one thing I would say is that Watford Football Club have opened themselves up to help our staff you know they've vaccinated over 20,000 members of staff from that club and that's to keep them safe so please continue to keep them safe and continue to do the brilliant work of, of the football club uh, by not spreading uh, Covid uh, but as I say I hope that we can all celebrate in our own way this evening for this fantastic achievement. I suppose it's frustrating in a way that football fans not being able to, to get into Vicarage Road uh, to watch their team win and seal promotion is, what, a little bit annoying? Well, it's it's been difficult for everyone this past year, you know, and I've, I've raised the question in Parliament about um, how we can get uh, football fans back into the the grounds uh, in a safe way uh, and as soon as it is safe to do so. And, you know, we've got the vaccination programme in place now. People are beginning uh, to look to the rest of the year with, with a lot of optimism and hope. And for me, that means that, you know, we will be able to return back to the, the grounds and, and to the watch from the terraces again. Uh, it's been a tough year, but, you know, moments of celebration like this remind us what life's normal normally like. And I look forward to joining uh, other fans on the terrace as we come to nearer the uh, the middle and the end of the year and for years to come. Um, has Elton John been in touch? Not not with me, but I hope he has with the team. I, I don't know, to be honest. I've sent them a, a message of congratulations. And uh, for me, you know, this is their moment. They they delivered on the pitch and they've been doing so all year. Uh, it's, you know, I imagine it's quite a rare achievement to get back up uh, to the Premier League within one year. And that just shows the tenacity and the spirit of both of fo fo Watford Football Club, but also the town, I would say, actually. And I'm so, so proud of them. I can't tell you. Hopefully you can tell that from my voice. I, I just think I, I, I'm over the moon for them. I, I, I'm chuffed that they've, uh, they've delivered today in the way that they have. Perfect. All right. Well, Dean Russell, thank you very much indeed for your time. Dean Russell there, the MP for Watford. Thanks for joining us here on LBC News. We'll round up.